Hello everyone, I'm Chris HFM, welcome back to the channel for another instalment of the Berkhamsted FC save. Now obviously since you were last with me, which was the first two games of the season, obviously we won 4-0 four, four against Peterborough Sports, 4-1 against Stratford Town. Since then, as you can see, we haven't conceded a goal in this division since Stratford, the second game of the season. And it looks as though we are probably going to go straight up but I think the next level up is the conference south as you can see we played 919 points 27 we're already seven points clear of second place St Newt's who we are playing today in today's episode along with Elf Church. so hopefully we can keep this run going and things are looking up things are looking promising so team selection I'm going to go with today Potter in goal, Cissé and Ugbungbo are going to be my wing, uh, my fullbacks. Cleaver and Lynch at centre back. Hartman in that holding role. Burnett and Green in the centre. Tebble, Coker, and Victor Soddit up front. So yeah, as you can see, everything's sort of going plain sailing at the minute. We've absolutely dominated this division since we've been in it. I mean, nine games in, seven points clear already. And things are looking absolutely brilliant. Pick up where you left off from the last game. Straight in. Here we go. Yeah, nothing else much has happened. Obviously, I haven't brought any more players in. No players have left. A lot of people keep coming in for Stephen Green, but I'm rejecting them because I think we need him in central midfield until we can find someone better. Victor Sodic's in again here for his ninth goal of the season in as many games. Um... Yeah, eight minutes in and we're 1-0 up already. And I think this division must be pretty similar to the one we've just come out of. I mean, this is the first time I've done a save from all the way down the bottom of the leagues. And it does look to be a little bit similar. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. If this league's similar, I think next year will be our big test when you go against Conference South teams. And then obviously we're only two divisions below the Football League. So it shows how fast it can happen. That's a great ball over the top, headed away by Lynch. Tebble now brings it away. It's a great run from Tebble. Still going, puts it into Sodit, and Sodit scores his 10th goal of the season after 19 minutes. What a run that was from Tebble. Just look at, the, look at him. He's just running, he's running. The defenders are sort of panicking and backing off. One goes in for the tackle, makes a sort of 50-50 of it. Doesn't go 100% in, and Victor Sodit's there to tap in the pass. Ten goal, tenth goal of the season for Victor Soddy. I mean, what a, what a signing he's been. Fire some praise out to the boys. I mean, if you have a look up well, when it come, when the highlight stops. Hartman now, Victor Soddy to Green, Coker back to Coker, and that's three 0 That's Matthew Coker's third goal of the season. Twenty eight minutes in, and yeah, I think we're going to absolutely dominate this division, and we're going to be in the Conference South in no time whatsoever. Lovely little interchange of pass in there from Coker and Green. And then Coker just slots it away in the bottom corner. But like I was going to say, bloody hell, another highlight. I'm not going to get to show you. As long as these highlights keep coming. And that's a ball over the top. It's going nowhere. Lynch will pick that up. Passes it out. Tebble now going on another one of his runs. Defenders sort of back away and then come into him. Green puts the ball out wide to Coker. Coker puts it back. Green. Oh, Bo oh my God. I mean, it's been disallowed, but what a ball that is by a gungbo. Look at that, and that's a, that's not... I don't think Tebble was offside there. I think that was Soddit. Anyway, look at our XG. It's one, shots 14, on target 6. Possession 55 to 45, and we're absolutely dominating the second, or the closest team to us in the league in second. Another ball played out to Tebble. Tebble puts it across. Headed away this time. Oh, sorry. Got a bit of air stuck. There you go. And Tebble now puts it across again. And it's got to be from Matthew Coco. A lovely little header at the far post for his fourth goal of the season. And our fourth of the game. Hartman to Green. Look at that ball from Green. First time. Weaker foot. Tebble puts it back. Back again. Whips it back post. And there's Matthew Coco just to glance the header in at the far post. It's 4 0. And there's no coming back for St. Notes now. Green now plays it up. Coker now brings it forward. Running with pace. Goes round one. 
has a go from distance and it's not a bad shout just past the post and at half time we're looking very rosy at 4-0 up they haven't really done anything to put us under pressure they haven't really done anything to make me want to change anything they've had one corner no shots nothing on target Tebble again whips the ball in this time it's headed away but look how fast we are at getting back to press and that Albongo picks it up another fantastic ball in and it's disallowed again but what a, I mean look at the delivery on him Albongo look at that that one's that one did look a little bit offside the first one I'm still questioning I don't think he was anywhere near offside but I think Soddick was offside not Tebble as they have their corner and that's a great save there from Potter and that's the first time he's been asked to do anything in this game and it's 60 minutes in. We've played an hour and that's the first thing we've had to do defensive wise. Uh, Matthew Coker looks a little bit tired. We're going to get Bentley on and we all know that Bentley loves a goal as well. So he'll probably come on and score a couple. I have been rotating him a couple of times. We'll bring Will Tizard on as well for Lynch. Lynch looks a little bit tired now. I mean, we can do this. This is the thing. We've got the freedom to do that. 24 shots, 10 on target. We're 4-0 up. 10 minutes to go. And I don't have to risk any of my players in games like this. I mean, I thought this was going to be a lot harder than than it has been. I'm going to leave Tebel on, to be fair. And we'll bring on we'll bring on Matthew Coker for his first game of this. Um, sorry, what's his name? Slipped out of my head. I'm staring straight at it. Corey Bacalossi for his first appearance of the season. And there you have it. 4-0. They had four shots in the end, one on target. We had 25 shots, 10 on target. Absolutely ridiculous performance from the boys. Very pleased with that. I mean, that is a dominating performance if I've ever seen one. Second in the league. They might have been riding high. They might have been thinking they've dropped to fourth now. Lowest off town are now our closest rival and they're nine points behind and we've got a game in hand. I mean, Coker again, two goals. I would have give it to Soddit. I think he, his finishing is ridiculous. But Ogungbo as well, the two balls he's played in. We've now gone ten matches in a row without losing. I mean, we haven't lost since January, I think it is, and we're in like September now. So... Anyway, I'll be back in time for the other church game. I shall see you in a minute. Welcome back, everyone. This is the team we're going to go with. It's exactly the same starting lineup that we started in the last game against St. Newt's. Hopefully, we get the same result. And like I say, we are absolutely smashing this division to pieces. So, it would be really nice, wouldn't it, just to keep this run going. Still not conceding goals. Pick up Wheeler from last match. That's beginning to like, if I was a player, I'd be like, he says that every game now. But it's working. We're working. And as you can see up there that we are still, oh, it's dropped down a little bit. Seven points clear. <clears throat> and as they come in for a throw in, Lynch now heads that away. Oval Church now having some early possession. Ball's picked up, Victor Soddit heads it on, obviously he's up front on his own, so there's nobody there to help him out. Cleaver now to Coca. Coca plays a great ball to Tebble. Tebble plays it in, and there's Soddit, and he's hit the post, and nearly, we nearly get an own goal. Nearly get an own goal. Let's just shout a little bit of encouragement to him. They're looking a little bit off today, which we don't need. They also come up saying that if we win this game today, we'll get the record for the most undefeated run in this league's history, which is only 11 games. But obviously being lower league, I understand that you're not going to get a team that can go 20, 30 games unbeaten. I mean, it's not exactly the best out there, is it? Best performance. I need to start getting at them, lads. Hartman now whips the corner across, headed away. Soddit picks it up, gives it to Green. Green puts it out to Coca Hartman. Tebble has a go. It's a great save by the keeper. Oh, hit the post. I thought it, hit, I thought it was a save. But as you can see, we're not really hitting the heights that we did in the last game. I mean, we're still... We're, our XG is better than theirs. But I think I've seen enough. I think we need to go a little bit more 
I'm going to start, I'm going to push us a little bit more attacking. Take Coker off for Bentley. I mean, Stephen Green's not having a good game, so Bacalasi will come on again. And we'll see how that works for the next few minutes. Demand some more out of them. But, I mean, we should really be winning, judging by the XG and possession stats and stuff, but obviously not to be. We might not even get a record. Williams is in, and he's just put it wide. It's the scariest moment we've had this season, I think. Now, 11 minutes to go. Uh, I'm going to take Sod it off for Goss. Goss. Goss is actually quite a really... Quite a decent player. If I didn't have Sodit as well, I think he would start. But I just keep rotating the pair of them. We'll go for a bit of shoot on sight action for the last nine minutes. See if we can get anything out of this game. I think it's going to be a bore draw though. Or oh, maybe not. That's a good save, Potter. Come on, boys. Two minutes to go. I mean... I'll have a word of him after the game for that. What was that all about? Just kicks it straight out for a throw-in. But as under pressure, mind you, he's just done exactly the same thing. Maybe that's the in thing. Last After 90 minutes, let's just keep kicking it out for throw-ins. A gungbo now taking his time over the throw-in and he's just lobbed that to nobody. And we've got a board draw and my keeper and my defence are the best players on the pitch for us. Not good enough today, lads. So, we'll have a quick look to see when I'm going to come back. Unlock the achievement of top form. I'm not happy with that draw, though. But there you go. Well, we've gone 11 matches without beating. Hitching with 10 games unbeaten. I'm sure we beat them. Oh, home run. So, yeah, I think the cups start happening around here maybe come back for these ones here the builder base and the league cup the fa cup qualifying rounds aren't really anything happy or joyful to watch they're pretty boring to be fair you either know you're going to win or you know you're going to lose so i'm not going to put that on camera but i might come back for here but uh, if you did like that please leave a big fat thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you very much for watching take care see you soon